Cyberbullying. It's the fastest increasing type of bullying, according to data collected from the University of Iowa's College of Public Health. Although psychological bullying and even physical bullying is still more frequent, it's one of the dif most difficult for schools to deal with because so much of the cyber communication happens off the school property. Two times a semester, education leaders host a business leadership network forum. Tuesday's keynote presentation focused on cyberbullying as a public health issue affecting Iowa youth. It's very disturbing to young people and to adults. Uh, it can lead to very serious consequences as far as suicide among young people. Uh, adolescence in particular is a very vulnerable time. It's very prevalent and the best way to deal with it is to bring it out in the open and to talk about it. We do a lot of work focused on bullying prevention and cyberbullying in the schools. We've also worked at the state level to evaluate the state's anti-bullying policies and we've also had a really interesting collaboration with Hancher Performing Arts and a local theater group called Working Group Theater. With that collaboration, a play called Out of Bounds has been performed around a few schools in Iowa City. And our goal is to um, create a larger arts-based curriculum to help students and schools uh, address the issue of cyberbullying. With a curriculum of arts-based bullying prevention activities, she hypothesizes a long-term impact. And the goal ultimately is to engage school campuses with principals, teachers, counselors, parents, as well as the students in um, developing a climate that is um, engaged and not tolerant of bullying behavior. Reporting at the Honey Creek Lodge in Moravia, Iowa, Laura Simon, KTVO News. So that is the, you know, the type of example of